The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, Headman's basketball coach, Chuck Benson. Chuck, back-to-back road games. You finish up the road trip with, historically, one of the tougher places for Carson Newman men's basketball to play, and that's Shuford Memorial Gym in Hickory, North Carolina, against the Lenore Ryan Bears. Uh, LR, back from the break, has been good. Back to, winners of back-to-back games, both on their home floor. Uh, what sticks out to you about the challenges that Everett Sullivan's bunch uh, poses? Well, they, they uh, are an incredibly uh, effective three-point shooting team. Um, I know that in their last game they were, I think, 19 to 34 from the three, which is incredible. Um, so, you know, we've got to be able to defend that. Uh, they, play a, they play a smaller lineup, which, which can cause problems because a lot of the teams in our league, including us, sort of prefer a little bit bigger lineup. We know we have our, our hands full defensively. And then, of course, um, that's, a tough, that's a tough environment. Um, They've got great fan support. Uh, Hickory's a great town, and people come out and support them. And uh, we know that um, it's going to be a challenge. But, but as I've been saying to you for two months now, we, we need as many challenges as we can uh, face to try to become the best team we can be. Uh, you know two of the, the players that can do damage in R.J. Gunn uh, and Darius Simmons, the two leading scorers. But uh, the star turn, at least for 2020, has been Cooper Fowler. Uh, Came into the new year with, I think, maybe a shade over 28 points on the year. Uh, and boy, he's exploded. Back to back 22 point outings against Wingate and Coker. Uh, what has taken his game to another level? I mean, as you said, first of all, Gunn, Simmons, Hawk, those, those guys uh, are proven commodities and, and have done it for, for, for multiple years now. And then Cooper Fowler uh, is getting comfortable and, and, and his confidence is, is booming. Um, and he's, he's sort of a. He's an outlier, a, a really big guy that has a perimeter skill set to go along with a post skill set. So he's versatile. He, he, it's it's going to be a challenge, but but we 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 know what we need to do. Can we do it? Will we follow through and do it? Is the question. And I think if we do what we're supposed to, we can we can we can impact uh, the efficiency and the capability that they show across the board from three. Feels like this team has been right on the cusp uh, for a few weeks now. It's either been free throws against Catawba. It was. Uh, turnovers, uh, what does this team have to do to get over that last edge of the hump uh, and play 40 minutes of good, complete basketball? Well, it would help if we made free throws at a higher clip like we, like we did at Catawba. Uh, but we've spent a lot of time during the break uh, trying to shore that up. And you saw the demonstration at Catawba with, I think, 83 84% at the free throw line, which is great. And we've got to learn how to take better care of the basketball. Uh, so many times when you have this many new people uh, so you've got the, the, the new dynamic between a staff and, a, and players, but there's the dynamic between player to player and guys getting comfortable enough to play with each other and sort of have a sixth sense and a feel for, for where guys are going to be and how they play is a challenge. And, and as coaches, you never really know how long it takes for that, that um, chemistry to, to develop. But I think as that continues to develop, our, 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 our turnover woes uh, will, will become uh, more uh, we, we will deal with that in a more consistent way. It, it, but, you know, Kev, truth of the matter is, I mean, we've been sort of taking pretty good care of yeah. the basketball for most semesters, just that it seems like every night there's Nick, – Nick Rogers, one of the players, said it best. He goes, guys, it seems like day in, day out, there's, there's a new sort of illness that strikes us. And I'm, I, don't, I mean like illness in terms of something, that, something else that impacts our ability to win a game. So we've got to be more consistent across the board in controlling our controllables and, and – um, Staying positive and staying unified and together until until we sort of iron it out. Well, it was a literal illness that impacted you at Catawba as well. Reese Anderson uh, didn't make the trip uh, due to a sinus infection. Uh, he's back. What kind of an impact can he have on the floor against the Lenore Ryan? Well, you know the sinus infection sort of triggered an asthmatic response as well. So he spent the last few days uh, doing his breathing treatments and getting himself squared away. He's been on the practice court, going hard, trying to trying to sort of regain his, his win, so to speak. Uh, he, he's ready to go for the Ryan, and, and, and we're excited to have him back because he's such a, he's sort of like the engine for our, for our car, and, and he really, uh, we need him out there to sort of generate uh, things for us going on both sides of the ball. Chuck Benson, pleasure as always. Good luck Saturday, or no, Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday against the Bears. Thanks, Cap. It's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach, Chuck Benson. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.